The verses of the Quran about the falling of rain and the place of water in our lives gives us true information. If we were to live in another period of history, we would not be able to understand this information. Since the cyclic process of waters in the world has been exposed in detail nowadays, we can easily understand the information about waters in the verses of the Quran. When we compare the old information about waters and the related verses of the Quran, we see that the Quran presents the truest information about waters just like any other subject without including the wrong information of the old ages. However, does this information, which is well known for us, can be known in any other ages of history so clearly? Let us see the views of the philosophers who are considered to be the most important philosophers and geniuses in the history about the cyclic process of water before showing the scientific information and the trueness of the verses of the Quran. Thales of Milutus explains the reason of the existence of underground waters as follows. The waters of the ocean that gushed out in the air by the pressure exerted by winds blowing from the depths of continents fell back down, penetrating the earth. That is, according to the Thales of Milutus, underground waters occur as a result of the overflowing of oceans due to winds. Plato shared this view and believed that its return to the ocean was caused by a huge whirlpool. Aristotle contended that the vapor that rose from the earth condensed in the cool recesses of mountains, forming subterranean lakes and spring waters that were fed by these lakes. Yes, these views that made you laugh belong to philosophers who were the most intelligent people of their ages. The first significant discovery of water's perpetual cycle and the formation of underground waters was by Bernard Palissy in 1580. According to him, underground waters were formed by the penetration of rainwater into the earth. R. Riemannieris, who is the author of the article of Water Information of Encyclopedia Universalis, gives the following information. The concepts of purely philosophical character about the natural phenomena related to waters had to wait until the Renaissance in order to yield their places to impartial observations. However, the Quran gives the information that underground waters form as a result of the penetration of rainwater into the earth ages ago, in a time when there were no signs or techniques. Seest thou not that Allah sends down rain from the sky and leads it through springs in the earth? The information of the Quran about the formation of the underground waters as a result of the penetration of rainwater into the earth clearly stated 14 centuries ago, was put forth in Europe in the 16th century, and only at that time they were able to oppose Aristotle. If the Quran is not accepted as the Book of Allah after this information, how can the trueness of this news of the Quran be explained? How was this ecological information which could not be discovered by so many intelligent philosophers, discovered by an illiterate person 14 centuries ago. Attributing this information to the discovery of an illiterate person who lived at that age could only be possible by insanity. Then the Quran is the word of Allah, who brings the water from skies and lets it be absorbed by the underground springs and informs us about this miraculous news 1400 years ago.